I'm running away from this pain. I'm trying to find a new way where the sun's shining down on my face. I'm Hello, my name is Gladness Joffrey. I'm a marketing manager from Bericero Logis and Tendek Camps. It has been a bit of a rough journey from putting my bachelor degree to going to work as a um, what we call this selling phones in town then I started studying to operation again after um, almost a year of studying to operation I got an internship to Mbereseiro Logis and Tented Camps where I had to go to the um, to the park where Endoro Lodge is that's where I started as a cleaner I started cleaning then afterwards I was given um, a position in the reception so I did a bit of a reception for some time and again I got uh, a reservation post I went to the head office in, in Arusha for a reservation post I didn't really stay for so long in a reservation that's where I became a marketing manager okay. I got a promotion from there okay you know you say it very easily you came from selling phone to a position of leadership yeah yes. when you're selling phones did you know that you can be a marketing ma manager honestly i didn't know but i was aiming high that was the only thing i really targeted something big i wanted something big i didn't see the selling phone as what i really wanted to do that was just a position um, of me getting money to go back to school. Hmm. So studying to operation, my aim was to do something big in the tourism industry. Why, why did you want to do something big? What, what is in you that makes you want to do something big? Um, my family maybe, yeah. I feel like my family deserve a lot. I also deserve a lot, but I felt like there's a change that was needed mm. and no one else was in that position to do a change rather than me so I had to make a step just for the others who are following me to do it better mm. yes I had to pave a way for them do you think that to be a leader you have to have that change in you that power in you or anybody can grow into being someone okay it's um, leadership is in oneself your discipline, your commitment, and you knowing what you want. I think all that lies into discipline, as in know what you want and aim at it. Don't lose focus in anything. Just focus on what you want and do it with determination, knowing that there's no limit to what you do. You really have to go. And no matter how it how hard it becomes, and no matter how disappointing it might be, because it's not always smooth. It's really difficult. It's really rough. But every day you must make sure that you're moving a step. And whatever you move a step, then just know you get there one day. You will. When you wake up in the morning, how do you stay driven? Um, how do you keep going? What drives you? Prayer. Okay. Because honestly speaking, I couldn't have done any of this. It has always been God, it will always be God, and forever God. I've been raised into a Christian family, so I've always learned that the only way I'm going to get there is having God by my side. Mm. And that's what my mom has always been telling me. No matter what I go through, no matter what is there, nothing is permanent. Yeah. And if uh, Christ himself has let me go through it, mm. then he knows I'm capable of making mm. out of it. So there's no way I'm giving up. There's no way I'm uh, going to be down or anything I know there are moments that I'll be crying there are moments that I'll be trying like I need to give up right now but when I remember that I can do this in Christ then there's no way I'm backing down for a person who's never been to your property and a person who's never been to Tanzania mm -hmm. uh, but I was told I say it wrong how do you say it Tanzania 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 okay or Tanzania depends okay, with, okay. Well, with my fake English <laughs> not really fake <laughs> <laughs> 
So, for a person who's never been to Tanzania okay. and to your property, what would you tell them? Tanzania is a beautiful country, peaceful, uh, with everything nice. Mm. From the culture, the tradition, the environment, the people in it, everything is breathtaking. And when it comes to accommodations, one should choose Mbereseru lodges and tented camps because we have the most beautiful mid-range accommodation. In uh, Karatu, facing the Ngorongoro Conservation Area, it's called the Noro Lodge. And the other one is a permanent tented camp. It's found in central Serengeti, that's in Serengeti National Park. How did you choose tourism? Tourism. Yeah, you could have chose marketing or finance or business I or banking. I love adventure. I love making people enjoy their life having a lot of memories, that has always been a very wonderful thing for me. So what's your dream? Mm. Very hard to answer that right now. What I'll just advise is, we should trust in God. And at the same time, you should take it a, a time and sit down and trust your life. Um, you get a time to think of you where you've been, where you are, and what you want. From there you can know how you get to where you are. If you don't examine yourself and know where you are, or where you're from, or what you're doing wrong, what you well, what you're good at, you can't move forward. You need to understand everything. Mm. But how, how do you know, sorry, how do you know what you're good at mm -hmm. if you don't know what you already want? Because not everybody knows what they want. You when you're selling phones, you After, said, mm -hmm. I'm going to make do something great, right? Yes. Sometimes there are people who, there's a person who right now is in a position where they think what they're doing, that's their life. That's why you have to sit down and think where you're from and where you're going. Hmm. What you're doing. Is it profitable to you three years to come or five years to come or ten years to come? Because I believe whatever you do right now, you should think, is it profitable for you tomorrow or today? Or is it going to be profitable for you five to ten years later? Because if it's not profitable for you to five to ten years later, it's not worth it doing. Okay. Not at all. Okay. And, and finally, yeah? mm -hmm. what are five guiding principles that you live by? Um, the first thing is God, respect your parents, mm -hmm. love what you're doing, mm -hmm. have a lot of discipline, mm -hmm. and be peaceful, be happy. Be happy, yeah. be peaceful. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome.